Every day, we hear more and more about the impact that climate change is having on our planet. With scientists warning that human actions are responsible for rising temperatures, for changing weather patterns and the extinction of species. But how do they really know all of this and what can we do to solve these problems? Let's start by looking at how the Earth's climate has changed in the past by analysing the remains of plants and animals stored in sediment and air trapped in ice, scientists can understand what the climate was like millions of years ago. Tree rings also provide a picture of the weather conditions from hundreds or even thousands of years ago. More recently, weather stations and satellites provide us with detailed temperatures and rainfall data from all over the world. Added together, this data tells us that over the last two million years, the Earth has swung naturally between ice ages and warmer periods called interglacials. These natural cycles have taken place approximately every 100,000 years and we're in an interglacial or warmer period right now. So, what causes these natural swings in temperature? Natural changes in the Earth's orbit around the Sun alter the amount of sunlight reaching different parts of the Earth at different times of the year. These changes trigger the shifts between glacial and interglacial periods, but they are only responsible for about a third of the temperature difference between these warm and cold periods. The remaining two-thirds is caused by changes in the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide and methane. These gases exist naturally in the atmosphere and trap warmth as it is emitted from the Earth's surface and they are essential to make the planet livable. Without greenhouse gases, the Earth would be a frozen planet with an average temperature of about minus 18 degrees Celsius. Over the last 200 years, humans have been destabilizing the natural balance of the Earth's atmosphere by releasing greenhouse gases from activities such as the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas and cutting down forests. The levels of carbon dioxide in particular are now 50% higher than before the Industrial Revolution and higher than at any point in at least the last 2 million years. This is causing global temperatures to rise. In fact, the average global temperature has increased by approximately 1.2 degrees Celsius since the second half of the 19th century. Each stripe in this chart represents a year starting from 1850 to 2020. The colour of each stripe indicates how warm or cold that year was relative to the average temperature between 1971 and 2000. Dark blue stripes are the coldest years, while dark red are the warmest ones. The change in global temperatures is clear particularly over the last 30 years. Scientists have looked closely at all the factors that affect global temperatures, including volcanic activity and variation in the output of the sun. Having done so, they have concluded that 100% of the warming over the last 200 years is due to humans pumping more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. But why does this matter? increases in global temperature matter because they affect the natural world and the societies that depend on it. Higher temperatures increase the risk of heat waves, droughts and extreme weather, such as more intense storms and flooding that can lead to loss of life and major damage to homes, buildings and livelihoods. Global temperature rise is causing glaciers and ice sheets to melt and water in our oceans to expand. This has already raised sea levels by around 20 centimetres since 1900, which poses a danger for low-lying nations and coastal areas that are now at increased risk of flooding. Global temperature rise is also causing the climate zones of the world to shift towards the poles, so that the local climates that societies, plants and animals have adapted to depend on is less certain. Growing food, for example, is no longer possible in certain parts of the world as temperatures increase and deserts expand. About a quarter of the carbon dioxide released into our atmosphere is absorbed into the oceans. This is causing the oceans to become more acidic and, together with increases in sea temperature, is causing bleaching and destruction of coral reef ecosystems around the world. As temperatures increase even more, the impacts of climate change on society and nature will get worse and worse, so every fraction of a degree matters. In response to the threat posed by climate change, the world's countries came together to sign the Paris Agreement in 2015. This agreement aims to limit global temperature rise this century to well below 2 degrees Celsius and preferably to below 1.5 degrees compared to pre-industrial levels 
In response to this agreement, countries have declared how much they will reduce their emissions by. These are called their Nationally Determined Contributions, or NDCs. On the basis of these NDCs, the world is currently on course for around a 2.5 degree rise in temperatures by the end of the century and to continue to warm thereafter. This would be catastrophic for people and planet. The good news is that we already know what we need to do to tackle climate change. The technologies largely exist. They must, however, be scaled up rapidly and equitably. Contact your elected official to show your support for meaningful climate action to ensure a habitable planet for future generations.